So what's going on gas gang? Today we're back with another killer matchup between two big power rear wheel drive V8 monsters from different corners of the globe. Today American muscle meets Australian muscle and it's going to be sick so stay tuned and let's get it. Welcome to Officially Gas. For the best in universal premium ester containing engine oils and fuel additives for both petrol and diesel engines, check the links in the description. So welcome back once again to the OG battles here at the Manol Battlegrounds where we pull up and let our cars do the talking and today it's a tyre shredding showdown between two big litre, big power, rear wheel drive supercharged monsters both repping from different corners of the world and with both running very similar power levels it's anyone's race. However, one thing's for certain today, terrible MPG, amazing sounds and no traction. So strap in and let's get it. And in partnership with Race Logic, we're going to be carrying out two sets of races. First up today, it's a quarter mile roll race. Next up, it's a drag race to the quarter mile. All races are best of three and the V-Box Performance Box Touch will be recording data such as 0 to 60s, quarter mile times and more to give you guys the stats on how this savage trio perform. Let's get over and meet the builds and their owners. So first up today, representing for the whole of Australia right now, no pressure, welcoming Mark to the battles with his crazy 2015 6.2 litre LSA V8 supercharged 790 brake horsepower, 1070 newton metre Holden HSV R8 GTS built and tuned by Walkinshaw Performance UK. Modifications include a stage 3 cam upgrade, uprated valve springs, a supercharger pulley reduction, an oversized crank pulley, high flow injectors, walking shore ceramic long tube headers, a custom Deutsch Tech exhaust system and a Harrop cold air induction kit. The R8 GTS is running on RAAA R semi slick street tyres at the rear and weighs in at a rather hefty 1880 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 420 brake horsepower per tonne. It drives its rear wheels only via its torque converter auto transmission. And he's going to be stepping up against and welcoming Jason to the channel, aka Captain America, representing for the entire USA right now in his all American 2017 5 litre Coyote V8 supercharged 800 brake horsepower, 870 newton metre Ford Mustang GT built by Jason himself and tuned remotely by Lund Racing in America. Modifications include a Gen 5 3 litre Whipple supercharger with 132mm throttle body, DW72 injectors, a DW400 fuel pump, X-Force long tube headers and a Mishimoto H-pipe and catback exhaust system. The Stang's running on Michelin PS4S street tyres all round and weighs in slightly lighter than the R8 GTS at 1710 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 467 brake horsepower per tonne. The Mustang drives its rear wheels only, however, via its six speed H pattern manual transmission. All right, guys, another deadly battle here at the Manor Battlegrounds. Today it's Aussie muscle versus American muscle. And uh, to my right, we have Jason representing for America, yeah. all the way from England. <laughs> uh, how do you reckon you're going to get on today, roll race and drag race? I'm here to win. Oh, <laughs> that, is, that is what we like. So drag race and roll race is just on. Yeah, so it's going to be a battle of traction for both of us, but it's he's, going to be a good race. He's got the auto box. How, yeah, how, what do you box. feel about that? He's done me over with that a little bit there. Yeah, Checked yeah. I was a manual and then broke it in. It's <laughs> but it's an old school talk. It's an old school. Yeah, I think it's, it's going to be a good match. Okay. It's going to be a good match. All right, confidence though, yeah? Yeah, of course. Oh, right. Cool, cool. Mark, welcome to the channel, brother. Represented, represented, before you speak, same little joke, representing all the way from Australia, from England. Now you can speak and tell everyone you're, you're, you're actually really English. Yeah, definitely really English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I think, to be fair, I think it'd be a good race. Okay. It's going to be a traction battle. Okay. Like, high torque, high horsepower, yeah, rear yeah. wheel drive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Be interesting. Okay, but are you as confident as our friend Jason over there, all the way from America? Not at all. Okay, not you're not. Fun. No, I'm not, not at all. I'm here to have fun. Okay. Obviously, I'm going to send it. Okay. Is what it is. All right, <laughs> but have a little bit of confidence, yeah. Yeah, we're done. Him. All right. <laughs> there we go. We got out of him. All right, boys. We have a nice, clean race. 
No pinching, no tickling, <laughs> and that's rice. And as usual, we're going to be battling it out for the revered Sugar Coat Cup and a full set of its ultra effective, super sweet smelling ceramic waterless washes. And you can grab yours today. Links in the description. OG20 for that good discount. Let's go. First up is the roll races. But before we get cracking, let's get a few sound checks. Now, the roll races work like this. The vehicle on the left sets pace, they agree a start speed, and the vehicle on the left sets it. It's then the guy on the right's job to make sure he stays by its side. As soon as they hit that start marker, it's go time. I'm standing, that looked like the Mustang took it. America! <laughs> I won't swear. <laughs> uh, finish line, who won that? Mustang, free car limp. Ooh, free car And after a slight slingshot from the Stang and a bit of a fluffed start from the R8 GTS, the Mustang takes the win by around three car lengths. Let's line them back up and go again. Mustang just looks like it's got the edge. It just looks like it's got the edge. Pretty sure he won. Let's find out. Finish line, finish line. Who won that? Mustang by free car lengths. Ooh, free car lengths again. And with a clean start from the gas guzzlers, once again, the result remains the same. With the Mustang outpacing the Holden, beating him to the line by around three car lengths, securing the first win for the Yanks. So let's just take a look over at the fastest 100 to 200 kph times achieved by the pair during the runs using a V-Box PBT. And unsurprisingly, the Mustang proves the faster of the two, going 100 to 200 kph in 6.51 seconds. The R8 GTS, a second slower, runs a best time of 7.50 seconds. However, neither car quite fast enough to chart amongst the Elite 15. And round one goes to Jason, the Mustang, and Team America. Next up is the drag races, and this is where these big power rear wheel drive cars can get very squirrely. Mark's taken the opportunity to drop his tyre pressures also. Let's see if it helps. So what? <laughs> well, no aircon, no nothing. My intake temps are going up, man. Creep up a bit, honey. Mate, you're smoking. You're, you're throwing Aussies on the barbie, mate. mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ready? Ready, ready, set, go!
Straight smoke. Yeah, yeah, the GTS, the R8 GTS. Done him. No messing around. Soft launch on the Mustang there, but let's just back that up. Finish line, who won that? VXR8, Ooh. two and a half cars. Ooh, okay. And the R8 GTS leaves the Mustang fighting for traction off the line and takes the win by around two and a half car lengths. Madness. Let's line them back up and see if the Mustang can dial in that launch. I think it went the same way. Unfortunately, just yeah, no grip, no traction for the Stang. And the, uh, the VXR8 just pings off. Or R8 GTS, whatever it is, you know what I'm talking about. The Aussies win! And that time, the R8 GTS gets a strong run down the strip and gaps the hell out of a Mustang who struggles for traction, misses third gear and gives up. And that was all she wrote. You pull one back for the Aussies! To be, I, I, to be fair, I dragged race before, I ain't rolled race. Okay, there you go, there you go. <laughs> so let's just take a look at the fastest quarter mile and zero to 60 times achieved during the runs by the pair using a V-Box PBT. And unsurprisingly, the hold improves the fastest, covering the quarter mile in 12.10 seconds at a speed of 122 miles per hour. The Mustang, struggling with traction, puts in a best time of 13.45 seconds, but with a higher trap speed of 126 miles per hour. However, neither car quite fast enough to chart amongst the top 15. Then taking a look over at the fastest 0 to 60 times achieved, it's clear to see the traction levels mixed with that auto gearbox in the Holden R8 GTS were better matched for the digs, hitting 60 in just 4.06 seconds. The Stang runs slower with a best 0 to 60 time of 5.33 seconds. However, both lads unable to chart amongst the rear wheel drive 0 to 60 top 15. And round two goes to Mark, the Holden R8 GTS and the Aussies mate. So today we pitch two gas guzzling blown V8s against each other, repping two different corners of the globe and it ends in a draw with both the Aussies and the Yanks taking one victory each. The Mustang shows its devastating performance on a roll clearly showing its superiority, however just can't put the power down efficiently on street tyres from a dig. The Holden rapid from a dig taking the drags pretty much effortlessly shows a great balance of power and grip and I believe even if the Mustang got a great launch he'd still have his work cut out to keep up that said a massive shout out to both lads for stepping up and laying rubber for the culture so guys with today's results let me know which team you were repping for the aussies or the yankees and what one of the two you prefer to be tearing around the streets in and why also sorry not sorry for some of the worst accent attempts you've ever heard <laughs> And if you have enjoyed today's races, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss another battle by smashing that notifications bell. And we'll be back, same place, same time, with another crazy OG battle. Peace out.